Hello everyone. I had collected some Soviet capacitors and I decided to make something useful out of them. All the capacitors are rated for 25 volts with a capacity of 1000 microfarads in the small ones and 2000 in the large ones. Let's take a piece of fiberboard and, using a compass, draw circles with the same diameter as the capacitors. In each circle you need to drill a hole at the edge and then cut them out using a jigsaw. Using sandpaper, we smooth out the uneven edges a bit. Let's mark it out, and then cut out another small piece for Vice President. We need to make four more holes along the edges, and you'll see why later. Now the capacitors need to be inserted into the cutout holes and secured with hot glue. This is how it turned out. Everything is holding together well. Reattach the terminals that were originally removed due to being an obstruction. Connect all the capacitors in parallel by joining the positive terminals together and the negative terminals together. This is how everything should look. Next, I take the case from a computer power supply and drill four holes in it, as shown on the screen. After making the holes, you need to attach the 24 volt transformer to the case. I did this using rivets. Now we attach the fiber board with the capacitors. Connect a diode bridge with a 10 ohm resistor soldered in series to its positive terminal. The board can be attached to the fiber board using one screw. Now connect the transformer to the diode bridge and its direct current output to the capacitors. Next, take a piece of wire and solder it to the leads of any capacitor. Also, we connect the transformer to the socket and the button, through which it will receive 220 volts. Wrap electrical tape around the wire soldered to the capacitor. Now let's take a special cable gland like this one, which will be used to secure the wire to the case so that it doesn't accidentally get pulled out. At this point, you can close the lid.
Here's the final device. Let's set it aside for now. Next we need a regular ballpoint pen. Let's unscrew its top part and cut off a little bit. Now let's take a small piece of copper wire and using glue with baking soda, secure it inside the pen part. This is how it should turn out. Uh, you need to drill a hole in the lower part of the pen. Now we take the previously made device with the wire, put on the lower part from the pen, then the pen itself and solder the upper part. The homemade project is now complete. Many of you realize that this turned out to be a small capacitor based spot welder. We connect the wire with a voltage of 220 volts to the socket and proceed to test it. We take a piece of plate but this is just for starters, I took a very rough one. Then we turn on the button for about 2 or 3 seconds and turn it off. When you touch the plate with the handle, the charged capacitors cause a strong discharge. This way you can join tin strips together, but as I said earlier, it's a very rough method and it doesn't weld through. Now let's try a thinner strip. As you can see it burns right through it. Now let's test if this homemade device can handle its intended purpose. Namely, connecting rechargeable batteries of the 18650 type since you don't connect them with a soldering iron, but with spot welding. Everything is welded, seems pretty good, let's try to tear it off. As you can see, it didn't tear off at the weld spot, so the device works fine. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. Thank you for watching, goodbye.